Hello everyone and welcome back to our brand new video. So you might have seen this tweet by 30 Virus recently where he claims that he's an endgame player because he can sell a bunch of his items and because he's skill average 50 and etc. Now this is great and all, but today I'm going to tell you guys why endgame and any stage of the game for that matter really doesn't matter at all in Skyblock or in most RPGs for that matter. So the first reason why being whatever stage of the game you are doesn't matter is because it's very hard to define stages of the game in the first place. Especially for endgame and Hypixel Skyblock, a lot of people have different definitions, and that was one of the main reasons why 30 Virus got absolutely clowned on after he claimed that he was endgame for selling those items. Endgame means a lot of different things to various players. For example, to me, personally, I feel that skills don't matter that much in Skyblock, that's not really true, but I feel that net worth should matter a lot more than skills, and that's just my interpretation of progress in Skyblock. So the next reason why the stage of the game that you're at and stages of games in general doesn't matter is because it stops players from really doing what they want to do. For example, if one player really likes dungeons and just want to keep on doing dungeons, then they'll be called a late game player even if they have really good gear and they have a really high catacombs level, because they have skill average 40. Now, this player just likes to do dungeons, and there's nothing wrong with that. But this requirement of having a high skill average just to progress in the game is completely false. Players should be able to progress in the game however they want to and do whatever they want. They shouldn't have these extremely limiting factors and stuff that you need to achieve, especially when it takes so many hours. This makes RPGs and most games in general really stale and boring, and people spend all their time just trying to achieve status of endgame when they don't really agree with that status in the first place. And the final reason that stage of the game really doesn't matter is because of inclusion reasons. If a certain guild or organization requires you to be endgame, such as guilds and other community places, then it just makes the whole community really, really toxic and does not make them come together. I really believe that all players should be able to work together and be accepted in the community, but currently the only players that even have a little bit of a voice are end game and late game players, and most of their mid game players are basically taken as a grain of salt because they have not achieved a certain level of progress in the game. This stops people that might have really good ideas from even being taken seriously, and if we just remove this class system in Skyblock, then everyone and all their ideas would be respected and considered instead of them just being brushed aside as being inexperienced just because they're mid-game or early game. And personally, I feel that you should absolutely not go for a certain stage of the game, because as I said before, it means something different for different types of players. And on that note, weight is very different than the stage of the game. I think the weight system is a good way for players to be competitive with each other with an overall status in Skyblock, and I have nothing against the weight calculator, but weight determining what stage you are in the game is really not good. And I think we should definitely move away from this really, really strongly embedded belief in the Skyblock community. So that's, every, that's the end of the video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this short video. I will make more content when Hypixel's back. See you guys all later. Bye!